I've made up my mind. This is the only way. I have to kill him. Kill him! I'll sneak through the French windows. Then, as the moon spreads its sinister light, I'll take a piece of piano wire and garret him. <laughs> Who will ever suspect me? Me, a quiet, simple, unassuming man. It'll be the perfect murder. I won't leave a trace. Revenge will be mine, and I will be continued next week. <laughs> continued next week. Continued next week. That's not fair. Just when the story's getting real boss, they go and make it a cliffhanger. <laughs> no fair, no fair, no fair, no fair, no fair, no fair. Herman, shut up. <laughs> yes, dear. Well, I might as well look in the missing persons section. Maybe one of these days I'll spot some dirty crook and get rich by thinking on him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, will you look at the crooks they got this week? Hey, look at that ugly old guy with a thousand dollar reward in his head. <laughs> Boy, does he ever look rotten. <laughs> Lily, wake up! What? What? What is it? What? 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 Uh, I was just looking in the shocking detective magazine and I saw this picture of this ugly old guy with a thousand dollar award on, on, on his head and then I said to myself, hey, 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 that ugly old guy looks very familiar. For that, you woke me out of a dead sleep? <laughs> Who? Give me that magazine. Uh, Lily. <laughs> Lily, Lily, dear, you're just getting a tizzy. Uh, 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 <laughs> See? I told you you're getting a tizzy. <laughs> sound happy. What are you doing? Just turning in my rotten old father-in-law for the reward money. <laughs> How could you? Oh, it's easy, dear. It was a woman who was advertising for your sneaky old dad, and she put her address right here in the detective magazine. See? Sioux City, Iowa. So I'm just writing her a letter, telling her to come get him and bring the fowl. <laughs> now, come on, Herman. You wouldn't do that. Now, j just think. Supposing the shoe were on the other foot, would Grandpa turn you in for a thousand dollars? No. He loves you too much. Yeah. Well, then, how come when we first got married, he asked me to make a donation to a hospital? And, and about an hour later, those two medical students came around the wagon to pick me up. <laughs> That was years ago. Anyway, it's just natural for a father to resent his son-in-law. After all, we are royalty. And he just didn't like the idea of some prefabricated Johnny-come-lately coming into the family. Well. All right, dear. I won't mail a letter. What if that lady in Sioux City wants Grandpa for doing something bad? What if he's in trouble? You think my sweet old daddy-in-law did something, you know, you, you know spicy? <laughs> no. We're going to find out from Grandpa tonight. We're going to bring up the subject of Sioux City. Good idea. But one thing, you know, Grandpa is very sensitive about his past. So if we ask him if he's ever been to Sioux City, we are going to have to be very subtle. Good. I'll be subtle. I'll be double subtle. Even triple subtle. <laughs> oh! Oh, everything oh. looks great, Ma. Uh, yes, Eddie. <laughs> oh, we should all be thankful that we live in a big, wonderful country like this. And speaking of a big, wonderful country, Grandpa, what was the last time you were in Sioux City? <laughs> was I too subtle? Uh, what are you two talking about? 
Well, um, we were just wondering, Grandpa, since you've been all over, and uh, uh, have you ever been to Sioux City? Sioux City, Iowa? And uh, we're not asking because we're suspicious or anything like that. Or like you committed a crime or something. <laughs> Please. Thanks, Marilyn. Grandpa, pass your plate. Sioux City. Sioux City, Iowa. You know, Lily, I just can't seem to remember if I've ever been there. I try to remember. <laughs> It's a little too rare. <laughs> oh, well, try your other sword, Grandpa. Lily, I think we ought to give him a third degree some more on Sioux City. I think the old coot's trying to hide something. <laughs> now that's how to cook a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Sioux City 3458. Miss Pamela Thornton, please. Now, remember, Herman. Find out why she put the ad in the magazine and what she wants Grandpa for, and don't goof it up. <laughs> oh. uh, Miss Pamela Thornton? Hi. This is her. <clears throat> this is an anonymous gentleman calling you about that reward you offered in Shocking Detective magazine. Well, let's pretend that I'm the character you're looking for. Uh, only I'm not. But if I was the character in the magazine, uh, which I'm not, <laughs> what would you want me for? I see. Uh, would you say that again, please? Thank you. Uh, that's what I thought you said. The lady in Sioux City is Grandpa's wife. <laughs>